Tuesday, the 19th of May 2020. Good morning and welcome to the local news for today. In the headlines, registration for unemployment benefit commenced, elections to be overseen by the OAS and CARICOM, and 11th positive COVID-19 case is a Brazilian. The general free and fair elections on May the 25th will also be under supervision of the international observers from the OAS and the CARICOM. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the other international organizations opted out. Jennifer van Dijk Silas, chairperson of the Independent Electoral Office, expects to proceed in a very professional manner. According to her, society must also have faith that the elections proceed correctly. Silas also calls on everyone not to be guilty of distributing fake news. Minister of Foreign Affairs Ildis Polak Bakley explained the arrival of the various observers. The organizations that called off their participation as observers of the elections are still having full confidence it is in the election process of Suriname. The registration to be eligible for unemployment benefits is welcomed by many citizens. This registration started last week and it is intended for those who lost their jobs because of the COVID-19 crisis. The Ministry of Finance intends to proceed with the first payments by the end of the month, says Joy Ten Berg. She is the advisor at the Ministry of Finance. The registration takes place under the supervision of the Ministries of Labor and of Finance. Citizens must provide official documents to indicate exactly where they were employed and in which sector. The financial and social economic emergency measures are intended for groups and sectors that ran into problems due to the COVID-19 crisis, says the Deputy Director of the Department of Labor Market, Rowan Norejo. The emergency funds will be available for six months for those in need. The 11th COVID-19 case in Suriname is registered. It concerns a Brazilian. This was announced yesterday during the press conference of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It is a male who entered Suriname illegally. On Saturday, a group of people from our neighboring country, Brazil, were arrested near the naval base of New Amsterdam. The other individuals are quarantined while the positively tested man is isolated. That is it for the local news for today. Tomorrow we will be back. Until then, bye-bye.